hello my dear student so welcome back to my class so today in this video i will cover class 6 math chapter number 7 fraction exercise 7.4 so question question 7 find answer to the following write and indicate how you solve them a is 5 upon 9 equal to 4 upon 5 so they are equal or not we have to solve and we have to write how we have solved them okay so the given fraction is 5 upon 9 and 4 upon 5 isn't it so let me write so given fraction is 5 upon 9 4 upon 5 we have to check either they are equal or not isn't it so they are not like term and their numerators are also not equal then how we will compare them so what we will do lcm we will find lcm of lcm of 9 and 5 is what lcm of 9 and 5 is 45 isn't it lcm of 9 and 5 is 45 now you will convert this denominator okay this denominator to 45 that means 5 upon 9 you will convert this to this denominator you will convert to 45 that means you have to multiply with what 5 so here also you will multiply with 5 5 5 is a 25 and 45 and what is the next next a fraction is 5 upon 4 and this 5 we have to convert into what we have to convert into 45 to convert this into 45 what we have to multiply we have to multiply with 9 so in the same way 4 also you will multiply with what 9 you will get 36 upon 45 now what fraction we got 25 and 36 now between this we can compare easily because they are now like term and we can say which is bigger we can say 36 upon 45 is bigger that means comparing if you will compare this and 4 upon 5 which is bigger 4 upon 5 is bigger that means they are not equal what you will write they are the given fraction they are not equal okay they are not equal so this is the answer for this question you will find you will find lcm and you will convert the denominator to the lcm number okay you will convert the denominator denominator only you will convert to the lcm number okay now come to the next question next question is b is 9 upon 16 equal to 5 upon 9 these are the question now how you will do you will find the lcm isn't it you will find the lcm now what is the lcm of 16 and 9 how we know to find the lcm isn't it how you will find 16 and 9 now this will divide with 2 8 time and this will not divide so you will write 9 itself then again 2 4 time then here 9 2 2 time then 9 2 2 time 1 then 9 now this 9 will divisible with 3 3 3 time 9 then again 3 1 1 so if you will multiply all this value how much you will get 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 into 9 how much you will get 144 will be the answer so what is the lcm lcm will be 144 isn't it so i will show you the solution now this is the given question isn't it 9 upon 16 and 5 upon 9 now what you will do 16 you will multiply with 9 
to make a equal fraction okay to make a equal fraction means they are lcm number so their lcm number is 44 so 16 you will multiply with 9 and we got 144 so in the same way 9 also you will multiply with 9 and we got 81 and for the next fraction 5 upon 9 5 upon 9 will multiply with 16 and up 1 will also multiply with 16 so 80 upon 144 we got now compare these two fraction are they equal they are not equal therefore these two fractions so 69 upon 16 and 5 upon 9 they are not equal isn't it therefore they are not equal so you can see here lcm of 16 and 9 is what 44 lcm of 16 and 9 is 44 so we are converting this denominator to what we are converting this denominator to their lcm now come to the next question so in the same way you will find question number c and d these two question is your homework this is your homework okay so in the same way like question number a and b you will solve this you will make into a equal denominator okay you will make it to equal denominator after that you will find the solution so come to the next question okay let me explain question number d okay S listen carefully so question number d question is 1 upon 15 and 4 upon 30 so when we are going to make this denominator equal when you will multiply 15 with 2 15 with 2 then also we are getting 30 isn't it so th they will become what they will become equivalent when you will convert 15 to uh, 30 then they will become equivalent so what i did here is 1 upon 15 i have multiplied both with 2 then we got 2 upon 30 now 4 upon 30 so this this is already in 30 so you will do what you will just multiply with only 1 okay you will just multiply with 1 only so 4 upon 30 will multiply with 1 and we will get same 4 upon 30 now what is the lcm of 30 uh, 15 and 30 is 30 isn't it so how to find lcm if anybody forgot to find lcm then i will do revision okay how you will find now you can see both the number both the number is divisible with uh, three but one number is divisible with two also isn't it so we can try with two and we can try with three also because three is also a prime number so we will take only prime number so three three fives are what 15 isn't it and three tens are 3 tens are 13 this way also you can do now both are again divisible with what five five ones are five and five two is 5 to the 10 now 2 1 to 2 or else you can write or else you can write what from 2 you will start so 15 is not divisible with 2 then you will write here 15 only now this is divisible with this is divisible with 15 isn't it so 30 how many time 15 time now both are 15 that means with 3 3 5 to 5 3 5 to 5 then again next will be 5 to 5 okay now you can see which is um, easiest one okay this is the this is the method okay this is the right method to find out first we will start with the least number okay smallest number not with the bigger number since this is multiplying with uh, multiplying this is divisible with 2 so we will start with 2 not with 3 directly so both the answer here you will get 50, 30 but the method this the method is right okay this is the second method is the right method second is the right method so when i did we got this much isn't it now we can compare this one and this one so which is bigger 4 upon 3 is bigger now since 30 upon 30 is equal to 30 upon 30 therefore 1 upon 15 is equal to no sorry sorry so what we got 20 upon 30 and we got 4 upon 30 now which is bigger 4 upon 30 is bigger so they are not equal isn't it they are not equal here this is not equal symbol they are not equal this is not 2 this is 4 okay they are not equal therefore they are not equal so the, uh, c question will be your homework so solve that question now come to the next question Question number 8. Ila read 25 page of a book containing 100 page. Lalita read 
टू अपॉन फाइव ऑफ द सेम बुक हु रीड लेस नाउ वी हैव टू कंपेयर देयर फ्रैक्शन ओके हु लीड हु हैव रेड लेस सो इला पार्ट वट इज द इला पार्ट इला पार्ट विल बी टोटल इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड इज इट एंड हाउ मच सी रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव पेज सो ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू वट वन अपॉन फोर इज इट इट इफ यू विल रिड्यूज टू लिस्ट फ्रैक्शन यू विल गेट वन अपॉन फोर नाउ फॉर ललिता ललिता वट इज द फ्रैक्शन इज ललिता फ्रैक्शन इज नाउ टू अपॉन फाइव This is two upon five. Now we have to compare these two fraction, isn't it? We have to compare these two fraction. So what you will do to compare these two fraction? You will multiply here with five, and here also you will multiply with five. And here to make it equal denominator, you will multiply with four, and here also you will multiply with four, isn't it? So here how much you will get? Five upon twenty, and here you will get eight upon twenty. Now who's bigger? We can see. We can see Lalita part is bigger, isn't it? Lalita part is bigger. So come to the solution. I will show you the uh, the process to write. Okay, the step. So this is the step to write. Ella read twenty five page out of hundred page. So the fraction of reading the page is equal to twenty five upon hundred. So this is equal to one four part of the book. Now Lalita read two. Fifth two upon five. Okay, two upon five part of book is equal to how much? Four hundred upon four hundred upon sorry forty upon hundred page. Now which is bigger? Now which is bigger? Two upon five is bigger, isn't it? Because here it is how much? Here it is forty and hundred. That means what we have done. There are two way. Okay, we we can do in a many ways. So, two upon five. So, what you will multiply to make twenty five? What you will multiply here to make hundred? Five. What time will give you hundred? Sorry, 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 sorry. Not like this. What is our given fraction? Two upon. Five, isn't it? Now we have to make similar hundred. We have to make. Then only we can compare them, which will be greater, isn't it? Two upon five, and we have to compare with one upon four. So we have to make this into a hundred. If you are going to make this denominator into hundred, we have to multiply with what? We have to multiply with twenty. So here also you will multiply with twenty. So what you will get? Forty upon forty upon hundred. Okay, what you will get? Forty upon hundred. Now, if you compare these two, which will be bigger? Forty upon hundred will be bigger. So two upon five. Okay, two upon five. Okay, let me explain again. So what is the part of Lalita Lalita red book? It's two upon five, isn't it? Two upon five. And what part is read by Ella? Ella red is equal to twenty five upon hundred. Now to compare two numbers, to compare twenty five and hundred. And two upon five to co to compare these two fraction. What we have to do? We have to convert the denominator into equal numbers, isn't it? We have to convert the denominator into equal numbers. So when you will convert two upon five into denominator hundred, then you have to multiply with what twenty, isn't it? We have to convert this into this five. We have to convert into hundred. So we have to multiply with twenty. So when you will multiply with twenty, you will get what? You will get forty uh, upon hundred. So forty upon hundred. So which will be greater? Therefore, who read less? Ella read less book. Okay, less part of the book. Who read more? Lalita read more part of the book. Okay, hope you have understood. Now come to the next question. Now question number nine. Rafik, exercise four. Three upon six of an hour, while Rohit exercised four. Three upon four of an hour. Who exercised for the four a longer? 
टाइम ओके रफी क्यू और रोहित रोहित हु हैव डन मोर एक्सरसाइज ओके लॉन्गर टाइम मीन्स हु हैव एक्सरसाइज फॉर मोर टाइम वी हैव टू फाइंड मीन्स दिस आर देयर फ्रैक्शन ओके हाउ मच दे हैव डन एक्सरसाइज फ्रैक्शंस इज गिवेन हियर यू कैन सी वट दे आर अनलाइक टर्म्स बट दे आर न्यू मेरेटर इज वट दे आर न्यू मेरेटर इज इक्वल इफ दे आर न्यू मेरेटर इज इक्वल देन स्मॉलर डिनोमिनेटर इज द ग्रेटर फ्रैक्शन सो हु इज ग्रेटर हियर रोहित इज ग्रेटर इज इन डेट सो रोहित हैव डन लॉन्गर टाइम सो द स्टेप टू राइट दिस द प्रॉपर स्टेप टू राइट दिस इज यू कैन सी हियर Ravi Q exercise is equal to how much? Three upon four of an hour, and Rohit exercise is three upon four and of an hour. Since we can say three upon four is greater, why? If denominator is same, sorry, if numerator is same, then the smaller denominator is what greater one, isn't it? So three upon four. So who did more exercise? Therefore, Rohit exercise for longer time. So who have uh, done longer time for longer time? Rohit exercise for longer time. Okay, now come to the next question, question number ten. Now, question number ten. In a class A of twenty-five students, okay, in class A there are total how many students are there? Twenty-five students. Okay, twenty students pass in the first class. Okay, twenty students pass in first class. So first class is equal to how much? Will be equal to twenty and out of twenty-five. and in another class b okay in class b third of is 30 students so in class b this is for class a and for class b first class is equal to how much 24 upon 30 24 upon what 30 in which class was the greater fraction of the student getting first class so who is greater okay whose fraction is greater a fraction is greater or b fraction is greater we have to find out now they are what unlike term isn't it and we have to compare them so how we will compare by making the denominator equal now you can see the solution here in a class a 20 pass out of 25 that is how 20 upon 25. Now both are divisible with what? Both are divisible with 5. So 5 fours are 20 and 5 fives are 25. So what we got? 4 upon 5. Now for the class B, 24 pass out out of 30, isn't it? Out of 30, and they are getting what? First class, isn't it? Both are for first class. Now 24 upon 30. This again divisible with 6. 6 fours are, uh, yes, 6 fours are 24 and 6. Five zero thirty. So now you can see they are equal fraction or not? They are equal fraction. So hence each class have same fraction of student getting first class. So getting first class is of same fraction. Okay. This was the last question of this exercise. Hope you have understood my explanation. So thank you so much for watching my video. And if you will like my video, then please do like and subscribe. to my channel and also if you have any friend who is studying in class 6 or you have any family somebody is studying in this class then you can share my video with your friends also okay so thank you and see you soon in the next video bye bye and take care